Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? Blood red frog spawns. Whoo! What's going on everybody? Welcome back. So we're going to be doing a tank update today. I'm not going to be talking about lights or equipment or pumps or power heads or heaters or anything like that. We're going to look at the fish real quick and then look at the coral. I did get quite a few new things. Some of it's in the downstairs tank. Some of it is up here. Some of it I can show you as sneak peek because I got to hold off onto it until a later video. But we'll talk about the fish real quick. So the fish are all the same still. It's been uh, almost a year and a half. I still have all six Chromis, that one Bengai Cardinal, and the two Pajama Cardinals. I've been thinking about getting a Ras. I'm really nervous about adding a fish to this tank because I don't want the Chromis to, you know, act like a normal Chromis where they pick each other off until there's like one or two left. These guys have been happy over a year, over a year and a half. So I don't really want to add anything. I'm thinking maybe some small type of Ras that stays small. So if you guys know of one, let me know in the comment section below if you have a ras that's really tiny and it stays small, whatever. I'd like to get, I think I'd like to get a ras maybe. Um, but other than that, fish are doing really well, eating good, totally active. I give these fish about two cubes of frozen food a day and that is their diet. They're not really keen on any type of pellets or anything like that, but they're happy, alive, getting big, actually real big. So anyway, now let's look at the coral. There's a couple of new pieces, quite a bit of the stuff in here is older pieces, and the last time we looked at the tank, the coral was not doing so well. Well, as the tank got older, it's got more stable, more mature, now everything is part of my French, but it's kicking ass. It's definitely kicking ass. So by that I mean growing, full extension, some of the corals that were in the basement tank that when the seal broke. They were out of water and they lost their color. They're definitely getting their color back slowly but surely, which is very exciting. So let's take a look at some of the new stuff. We'll take a quick look at, actually, we'll look at these A-cans. We'll do a quick sneak peek. I did get uh, quite a few A-cans here. There we go. They are pretty nice. They're getting a little irritated at the moment. Lights are about to be out in about a half an hour, so we got those. Um, I do have nothing on this right side that's new, nothing on this left side that's new, it's all underneath in the sand bed. Let's take a look down low. Alright, so here's this pretty decent looking rainbow A-can, looking real good. I got that, um, Black Friday, I don't even think I've shown it yet, but yeah, I got that one Black Friday, doing real well. I do have a bunch of others down in the sand bed. Another rainbow one there. Mm, there you go, you can see that one. Another rainbow one there. But all's doing very well. Got this pretty cool Cephastria. Got this at the Fishy Snowman Meetup. I did chip away at the frag plug. It was fully encrusted, but I don't like the way coral looks when it grows on the rock and it has this perfect circle. So I just chipped away at it so that when it does encrust around this that it'll look a little bit more natural before I glue it to the rock. Now this is not an older coral, or this is not a newer coral, but this is one of my oldest mushrooms. This thing is awesome. Just wanted to show you guys. I know I've showed it before, but I'm pretty proud of this thing. It has some serious, serious colors on it. Now I don't know if you guys remember, but I did have a bunch of A-cans actually glued to this entire front rock structure here. I've decided to take them off the rock. I've always had really good luck with the A-cans growing on a big disc down on a sand bed. So you can see these guys here. This is how they all look when I first get them. After about a year, you can see down here, look at these big meatballs. These things are big and mushy. The one on the right there in the back really lost some color when it was out of water. This one here, it lost a lot of its blue, but like I said, the color's been coming back on a lot of the frags, especially these guys here. These have some nice colors, definitely gaining them back, but 
all in due time. Now, let's take a look at some extravagant, crazy looking frog spawn that I have picked up as well at the Fishy Snowman Meetup. Now these guys are very, very special. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they are blood red frog spawns. I have never seen these in four years of doing this hobby. I have never seen these before. These were a gem that I found wearing my glasses. And like I said, you can't really see it really good. Let me switch off. Let's just go reef brights only and see how they look. Okay, see, so now that's what I'm seeing. That is a perfect color match. Now, of course, it's not going to focus, but let's see. Focus for me. Focus for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It went out of focus. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. Let's get a little focus here, people. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe it? Blood red frog spawns. Whoo! These things are crazy. Look at these crazy. Man, everything looks really good with the reef brights on. Let's take a step back again and look at the rest of the tank. All right, so over on the right side of the tank, not a whole lot going on. I do have a bunch of GSP on the sand bed. I actually want the sand bed to. Um, be covered in these sections with some GSP just for now. I just have kind of like a little, uh, not really an experiment, but I want to let these things grow out on the sand so that I can cut them and frag them. These are those really nice neon green ones. So I know a bunch of people have been always looking for these, so I want to grow them out, cut them on frag plugs so that I can share them with everybody. But the rest of the tank, there it is, it's from the right side. So um, one thing in particular. So I do have these, I believe these are the Bam Bam Zoanthids, these bright red ones. They are starting to really take off. And the fastest grower in my entire tank right now is the Worldwide Corals Purple Monster Zoanthids. I got these from the Philly Splash show in September and it had three small polyps on it. And you guys can see here that it's been, let's see, three months three months and we're looking at about I don't know I think the last time I counted I was on the phone with fishy snowman and we counted like 25 heads that's pretty that's pretty good that's a, that's some fast growth for I guess you what you could say is a named coral you know um, up top here is the Jason Fox enchanted forest still has its great color hasn't grown very well but a lot of the SPS has not grown very well lately, but now I've really seen some excellent polyp extension on like my stylo. The Reef Spy Bird's Nest back there has really gotten um, a lot happier lately. But to finish up the right side of the tank, the Rastas there, I did frag them so they were a little irritated for a while, but now they're really taking off the rainbow infusions. I don't know if these guys are a fast grower. If anybody else has those and they're a fast or slow grower, let me know. Then the yellow dragon's breath over there, that thing is really starting to take off. Um, over here, this is a Fabia that I got from Reefco that doesn't have a name. But if you notice to the left a little, I guess a piece broke off and it's actually starting to encrust right there, which is awesome because I wanted this whole right section here to actually grow out to be just that because it's green yellow with a little bit of red in there and that's a really nice piece um, let's take a look so you guys can see to the left of the the purple monsters oanthids this is the fascination favia this one the, this was the one that was out of water at the top of my tank when it was drained out in the seal blue and it was like a dark emerald green it's finally starting to get its color back. It's turning more and more yellow every day. The eyes are starting to turn more and more pink. The sweepers are always out. It's always fluffy, so it's still alive and it's getting its color back, so I'm very happy about that. Now you guys can see this one is the War Coral. That was the one that was really, really encrusted on my rock that I lost and uh, I had to get another piece. So that's another Reef Co piece right there. 
the frog spawn it has been happy as could be for I would say three four weeks same with the orange one they're they're both doing really well and side note if you're hanging in there this long if you guys know me I like to do water changes and it's been about three weeks since I've done a water change and everything has been really awesome but I don't dose anything besides you know alkalinity calcium and magnesium I don't dose any trace elements so I'm not sure exactly what I want to dose in the tank or if I should just do a big water change because like I said I haven't done a water change in three weeks that's the longest I've ever gone while being in this hobby and everything is looking awesome so I don't really want to fuss with it um, but anyway you can see in the back there my little zoanthid collection is just constantly doing really really well everything is growing fast especially that one big rasta colony in the middle there it's got about 60 60 to 65 polyps on it it's taken off it's going crazy um, oh and also the blue lagoons that I've had I've had for quite a while they're finally starting to grow as well so everything is doing real well you know what let's take a look over here at some of this SPS all right so the top of this rock here is my little SPS corner I have the on the far left right here that's the Dave's Nano Tanks rainbow bird's nest then to the right of it right here this is the birds of paradise and then right back there is the Dave's Nano Tanks ORA bird's nest these guys are always fluffy haven't really seen any growth on them lately but I would say the past week or two they have really started to sprout all kinds of different branches you can see they used to pretty much be a couple sticks now there's all these little bumps coming off of them getting ready to start sprouting hopefully um, and another one the black friday that i got was this meteorite sephastria gotta have one of those in a tank that's a must and it's a fast grow fast grower anybody that knows this coral knows it's a fast grower well that is the truth and we will come down here and look at these juicy fatties whoo wait till they get their colors back give them a couple more months they'll be good to go and as always the classic Dave's Nano Tanks side boob you guys may have heard me say his name a lot well if you're not subscribed to Dave you have to the dude's commentary on his you know videos spot on I'm gonna have to say top three favorite YouTube channels top three but glass is looking pretty clean I've had to clean it less and less lately so that's it this is the we are gonna call this the end of the um, old school update so of course again I want to say thank you for stopping by and Hopefully these 13 or 14 minutes have not completely bored you. I want to get back on track on doing the same type of videos that I've always done. I know I've been doing a lot of product videos lately and it's all stuff that I've been using that I'm excited about. So I don't know if you guys like or dislike those types of review videos, you know, equipment reviews and unboxings. Let me know in the comments about that as well. If you've stuck around this long, let me know. Say if you like these random things, my DIY projects, let me know what you like best and I'll make sure to make more of those types of videos. But that's it. I'm gonna let you guys go. I love my tank. It's just, I can't wait to get rid of these frag racks, but I, I know I'm gonna miss them when they're gone. But at the same time, I have not seen the front of my tank in months. But now that the basement tank's running, I have all this overstock, I have a place to put it. So. All right, everybody, that's it. I'm out. We're at about 14 and a half minutes. I'll talk to you guys later.